everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray, and today we're going to be doing a little flip through of the World of Cross Stitching magazine, issue 297 for September of 2020. Um, I have done, to the best of my ability, I have blanked out all of the patterns, so there should be no, you know, <laughs> Don't watch this to steal patterns. We don't we don't do that. Um, but if you're interested, this should be available still uh, in newspaper stands in the UK. Uh, and it is available online as well if you want to go to the World of Cross Stitching magazine website, which I will have linked down below. I'm not affiliated. I bought a year subscription just so that I could share this with everybody and, you know, get the word out there. So without further ado, um, this is the little free gift that came inside of the package. So um, it's got the Ada that you need. It's got the colors. Let me just take it off screen to see. Yeah, see, have a look at this. Look at the card material here as well. It is so super cute. So you've got everything that you need um, to make this little adorable card. This is one of the furry tales um, series. And I think it's super cute and so summery and adorable. Love it. So uh, that comes with the subscription. And then we have the magazine itself. So as you can see here, we have this beautiful lady with a unicorn that is an Ann Stokes exclusive to this issue. Um, and then we have some other things like some rulers and sunflowers and allotment and the Mayflower. So let's have a look see what's inside. We always get a welcome from the editor uh, and where they talk about the designers and how you can get help, how you can contact them. And we've got our table of contents here. They'll always have like little deals and things like this, like subscribe and save and things like that. So it's a good resource for those of you who are looking for uh, like a discount or anything like that as well maybe maybe the um online version or you know like the the online deals and things they can get a little overwhelming and bombarding and you don't know if you're being fooled or not but when it's in a publication like this you're definitely not being fooled you can you know for sure that it's not a scam right so all right let's keep going so the first thing we have the guests these are readers who have written in and i mean <laughs> A lot of the same patterns keep coming up in these f magazines that um, people really, really love. Um, and one of them is one that I started, which is called uh, Grazing Sheep by Doreen Jones. It is so cute. I can't wait to get back and work on that. And we also have a Furry Tales, another Furry Tales. And this one is so adorable, isn't it? Just super cute, little rock star. Uh, all of the furry tales are designed by Lucy Heaton, and there's an entire series of them, so in every issue you're going to get a little mouse, and the mouse is going to be doing different things. So super cute, little a little tiny stitch, but there are quite a few colors in there, so it is fun to do. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look at this. We have an ad for the Cross Stitch Toys magazine. So if you're into that, it's got little trains and teddy bears and a rocking horse and a baby sampler. Those things might be interesting to you or a loved one. So you can definitely get the toy collection. Um, you just have to go to that link. So you can pause the video at any time if you'd like to, to get anything. And then they talk about the gift. So they talk about what's in this chart, this kit here, um, and just how to stitch it and everything. So just in case you give that away as a present to someone and you want to do it and kit it up yourself, you can do that, which is great. I really like that. Then they have a um, double page on Ann Stokes, who is... A wonderful artist. I'm sure that you've seen her artwork before. She's very famous for fantasy and mythological art. So I won't go into detail about her, but she is she is a fantastic artist. And so they decided to chart this picture from her. Uh, so this is the maiden and the unicorn. It's not that difficult to do. It's just going to take you a while because it's quite big. Um, and 
I, I really love the little, I'm going to just bring it up to you. So I really love the little butterflies and the flowers in her hair. It's really nice. And the unicorn. It's so pretty. So the model was stitched on an even weave and it looks like it was a hand dyed fabric, which really makes it pop because it gives you that effect of like a background, but mm, it's not really, you know, you don't have to stitch it, which is great. So this is quite a big pattern and they teach you how to do the parking method. So that might be helpful. Wow. Look at that floss list. <laughs> Here's the original picture that she did. So I did, I think they did a great job of, of charting it into a cross stitch. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. And we've got letters from readers who have stitched things and want to share them. Um, these are so cute. A uh, little hedgehog, uh, little cards and things. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. This one took three years for someone to finish. We have this cute little baby sampler here. That card that I'm doing for my, my little sister. I haven't finished it yet. I really need to finish that. <laughs> and it's always nice to see what other people are doing, you know? So we've got more of that here. Oh, this little girl made 50 key rings stitching in secret. That's cute. That's adorable. Um, here's a, wow, that's a fantastic, like, blanket. Wow. Beautiful. No. Excellent. The next chart here is uh, Doreen Jones and it's called New Home Cards. So we've got like an igloo and a, a cabin in the woods, a townhouse, a high rise, a hut, and a houseboat. That's really cool. So um, it says they take about seven to 10 hours each. They're, they're beginner patterns. They're not very difficult. Um, and you can, I mean, give these away uh, as a housewarming present or Maybe you just want to stitch the thing and maybe not the words, but you know, it's up to you. That is beautiful though. It would be great as a housewarming present. And here <laughs> we have the frogs alphabet, you guys. Okay. Let me see if I can bring it up to you there because Jenny Barton has done it again with the alphabets. Look at them. Look at how adorable they are. Isn't that cute? So they go through every letter of the alphabet and they have a little frogs, little frogs on every single letter. So you can decorate or embellish something like, you know, a jacket or you could just make a sign. It's just so cute. I really love it. And I love that there's like this little detail of flowers in the letters as well, which is kind of difficult to see when you're that far away. Sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to take it away so that I can, because there's a chart on the other side. So they've got frogs leaping. They have little bees and butterflies as well as the flowers. And it's just so, so cute. <laughs> so if you have any frog fans in your home, then um, definitely go with that one. And um, let me see if I can just hide this page. This is, it's sometimes it's difficult the way that it's laid out for me to be able to show you everything. So bear with me. So here we've got the um, panel of professionals, the experts, and people are asking questions like, what do I do in this case or that case? And I think that that is super helpful. So, um, you know, it, as a beginner stitcher, I find this information incredibly helpful when I read this book. Then, let's see if I can turn the page. There we go. We have more, more help. And then, you know, they're sharing pictures that other people have sent in. Um, uplifted stitching. Here we have the wishes granted section. And look at that little penguin. So, um, 
Ashley said, my friend likes flamingos and her husband likes penguins. We joke all the time about a penguin on stilts being a flamingo. I'd love to surprise them with a cross stitch. Isn't that so cute? That's adorable. Uh, so you can send in your requests. They have an email address right here and maybe your wish will be granted. So more advice and techniques. Here they're talking about thread magic, which I also have. And I use that with my, it's a thread conditioner that I use with silks um, or with black DMC when I'm doing um, black work, which is the, you know, you're using one strand of uh, DMC 310 or, um, you know, black floss, and then you're doing very intricate lines. It's very helpful because then the, the thread doesn't stay fuzzy. It's just nice and, and even. Here we've got some uh, questions answered. I think these are people looking for requests for teddy bears. So there's all kinds of teddy bears that they've shared. And, oh my gosh, this one. I have been waiting for so long for this pattern. This is Jenny Vandeweel. She's on Instagram as well. You should check her out. Um, and she designed this garden patch. It's an allotment scene. So for those of you who actually live in the UK, I'm sure this is actually a very um, common site. But here in Ireland, it's not. And I really love this. And I love the idea that you can get a little tiny piece of land, you can put on a, a glass house or a little greenhouse, have your chickens, have your garden, and you come back to that plot to take care of it. And it's not necessarily attached to your house. So even people who live in the city can have experience that kind of um, back to nature feel. And I'm hoping that side note, I'm hoping that um, that actually becomes a trend here in Ireland as well, because I think it's a fantastic thing. But this pattern is so do super cute. Have a look. I'm going to bring it up closer to you. There's like pumpkins and squash, summer, uh, sunflowers, apples on the tree. This is like September. It really is. It screams September. All of those, all of those um, fruits and vegetables are September September fruits. So that's fantastic. It's so cute. Um, yeah. And it says, <laughs> even if you lack green fingers, you'll enjoy these seeds blooming into life beneath your needle. How cute. Um, it's, it says it's an advanced pattern. Cross stitch, fractionals, back stitch, lazy daisies, and French knots. I don't think that that's very advanced, but I suppose it just depends on the size of the the work. It's 105 by 115 stitches, so it is full coverage. That might make it a bit more advanced for some. But it is beautiful. It says that it was stitched on... Uh, it says here that it was stitched on 28 count even weave, but it looks like an Ada. You could easily use an Ada uh, fabric for this, but the fractionals may be a little difficult. Um, I started fractionals on Ada, so I don't find it that difficult, but it is harder to pierce the fabric. So you need a nice sharp needle when you do them. Okay, let's move on. Look at this. Look at this, so cute. Uh, this is Fabi's Masterclass, and in this edition, we're learning how to do colonial knots, which are these little tiny dots on the end of the branches here. And that hedgehog is so adorable. Oh my goodness. And almost 3D with that back stitching as well, right? So um, this, it's deceptive. <laughs> it will take a long time, but in the end, I think the result will be worth it. It's not going to look like anything until the back stitching is done, though. So um, I've gone ahead and blinked it out as much as I can. But that is so cute. Like I really want to put that in my in in my whip pile. <laughs> to be honest, uh, this is where you would order more issues. Um, they give you an anchor thread bundle when you subscribe. Uh, you can do so online. I'll have the link down below. A phone number or through the post as well. I just remember that this is a UK thing. I believe that these bundles are only available during the UK or in the UK rather because um, I don't even think it says here. Just this limited stock. Um, but 
go check it out and see if you're interested in subscribing. Oh, that's so cute. So these are more ads. And this is called Word Up. Uh, in the design library, send a message to someone special with our fab chart collection. Um, celebrate a special occasion in style with Cheryl McKinnon's modern typography motifs. Do you like modern typography? I think those are really cool. I especially like that one. I think that that would be really easy to do. It wouldn't take too long, but I would appreciate the work and thought that would go into something like that. So I'm, I'm totally down for these. So have a look. We have like, uh, these little coasters, congratulations, thanks. You could use plastic canvas to make key rings, decorate little things, cards, make today awesome. I love these. So I'm just going to read them off a little bit. We've got all kinds of different initials. Happy anniversary, love, hope, peace, borders. Then we got a few different alphabets to help you. Um, yeah, loads of alphabets. Best wishes. Really pretty initials in all kinds of letters. I don't know if all the letters are there. Um, every moment matters with some flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, and that is all of them. So next up we have the rulers. These are like little sewing rulers. That is so cute. Available for 14, 16, and 18 count fabric, obviously Ada. Each of these three rulers includes measurements of 150 stitches along the length. These can be used to adjust a design onto a different fabric count. Just look for the stitch count and yeah, work out the new design size. So it, it can work as an actual ruler, not just for show. That is so cool. And then it has step-by-step um, -step instructions for how to hand stitch your own rulers with ease, no show sewing machine required, which is good because my sewing machine doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I've got to move past all of those. Oh, they're so cute. And then I'm going to try to roll this over. It shows you how you can make the ruler without a sewing machine. There you go. Very cool. Whoops. Knocking stuff over. All right, so then we have more ads. <gasps> look. Oh, look at this. That is so cute. <laughs> Sunflower Bear by Ian Hallow. Ha sorry, Hallows, excuse me. Oh, look how fuzzy and cute. Oh, that is so adorable. So adorable. Uh, and the little bee. That is that is just too cute. And here it says everyone deserves a cross stitch cuddle. In their day oh and it's world of cross uh, uh, it's actually the the world cross stitching day happy world cross stitching day everyone I hope you're cross stitching today <laughs> if you're watching this today the day I upload it but it's so adorable that is that is just so cute and the artwork the artwork is just as adorable no here they have a, a best buy section. This is kind of where they, they go around online and in stores and they try to find fun things to get involved in and different kinds of patterns to share with you all. So we've got some floral crosses. We have this tiny modernist, love builds a happy home. That's so cute. We have some back to school charts. I love the one in the sugar stitches, September. That's cute. Um, we've got the Caterpillar cross stitch positivity rules stitch along, which is adorable. We have some more here. Homage to nature. Ooh, a pretty period pattern or sampler rather. This is uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. I charted that. 
Very cool. Look at the pencil case. That's pretty. They use this like fuzzy trim and it kind of looks like grass. That's really cool. I've never finished anything like that. <laughs> okay, and here we have um, Jenny Barton designed this Mayflower. It's very detailed. Lots of back stitching and the compass and everything. This is a very, very big chart, um, but it says advanced beginner intermediate because it's not too complicated. Um, but it'll look really cool in 3D when it's if it's finished. Um, as you know, this is the 400th year of the Mayflower expedition. Um, I won't get into how I feel about that, but um, that is history. <laughs> um, it is pretty big, so it will take quite a while. Then they've got an online news section. Uh, we've got Henry VIII cross stitch kit. Ooh, look at that. Um, those wildflowers. Oh my gosh, look at that. So you can share you can share your finishes like that, and they will they will put them in the magazine. Very cool. Okay, and then we have our pet of the month. The pet of the month is a Cornish Rex cat, which is super adorable. Another Doreen Jones chart. So if you like her stuff, definitely get this magazine. You're going to you're going to really love it. And then they give you more pets uh here. I love the Collie one. Do you see this? Um Rural Life by Anchor. This is a Marie's cross stitch. Marie's cross stitch. There's an asterisk. That's beautiful. It's huge though. But that's kind of what it looks like around here. <laughs> but my dog is gray. She's a blue Merle. Ooh, look at that. We have a beautiful dream catcher by Amanda Butler. And that is just gorgeous. I love the metallic floss and the beads. Holy cow. That is so pretty. And I bet if you really wanted to, you could actually change some of the colors in this. If you wanted to personalize it a little bit, you would just need to go in and, and find uh, a few different shades of that color and put them in the appropriate place. Wow. That is so cool. I like how they finished it with the these kind of faux leather feather feathers. Faux leather feathers. Say that three times fast. <laughs> that is such a cool finish. That looks so cool. And then, let's see. Yeah, and then she shows you how to make it into a hanging. Very cool. Sue, excellent, awesome job. More ads, uh, a little gaming section um, where you can order back issues if you're getting the physical magazine. Then they show you what's up next. So uh, in the October edition, we've got some trick or treat cross stitch which that looks so cute I think it's just the individual pieces and then you can finish it how you like we've got some badgers <laughs> that's pretty though um, we've got uh, six rustic harvest cards so there's some great motifs in there we've got some squirrels in a tree look how cute they are that's what we have. We have some children playing in the leaves. All of our yesterday's exclusive. Aww. So that's only going to be available through the magazine. We've got mug cozies. Ooh, I like these. What does it say? Hocus Pocus. I need coffee to focus. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, we have uh, reusable pot covers to keep food fresh, um, birthday gift tags, and then there's a few other things as well. Awesome. And then here they have like a how-to, beginner how-to, uh, how to stitch, how to read the key and everything, and uh, where they get all their supplies and stuff. So guys, that is it for the World of Cross Stitching magazine issue number 297, September of 2020. 
I hope you enjoyed looking through this flip through. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And I will be posting tomorrow on my floss tube. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.